My name is Hannah Imlach and I'm a visual artist working predominantly in sculpture. From the Dark Ocean Comes Light is a new body of work which results from a year-long residency in the Institute of Biological Chemistry, Biophysics and Bioengineering at Heriot Watt University and the Changing Oceans Group at the University of Edinburgh, funded by the Leverhulme Trust. So I'm studying uh, cold water coral reefs in Scotland. So when Hannah and I started working together, I basically introduced her to all these different ways and approaches that you can study deep sea reefs. And I think after a few months, she asked me, what would you do if you could walk through a deep sea reef? Um, how would you feel? And this basically led to exploring the new ways of experiencing these reefs. So this whole program has been a very two-way process and through talking with Hannah I've got a greater appreciation of how science and quite complex environments such as coral reefs can be portrayed in visually appealing ways and importantly I think this is a very memorable way to portray scientific information to the public. So when I started working with Hannah we started discussing how coral reefs form, how corals grow and many of the questions which came back were well why does it do this, how come they grow in this way, what controls this, how will this change in the future? And this made me actually question many of the fundamental assumptions that I've made about my own research. And this has directly led to new avenues of research, such as actually modelling coral growth based on new principles. And this was only possible through the kind of two-way collaboration that I had with Hannah. I'm a hands-on experimental physicist. That means I build things. I build optical instruments and tools for microscopy and biologists. As scientists we would call it problem solving or, or but actually it's more than that. It is creative, it is absolutely creative. The iterative process that was gone through to develop the sculpture here has so many comparisons and parallels to the iterative process that I would go through designing an experiment. That's probably one of the biggest things that I've learned from a practical point of view. What really drove me as a research scientist, not writing funding proposals, and it's not even necessarily writing academic papers and those sorts of things, or giving talks that scientists do. When you do an experiment and you find something out, it's quite a rare experience, because research is called research, because you're searching for something over and over and over again. It's a rare experience when you find something out, and when you do find something exciting that you've been seeking or searching for for sometimes years, the only person who knows about that is you for a period of time until you tell somebody else. And that is a really exciting feeling. It's really exhilarating. And if you ask any of the scientists around here, that's actually what drives them. And for me, I think that's a real privilege. It's a privilege to be a scientist and find things and see things which nobody else does. I don't think very many scientists spend a lot of time considering how their work makes them feel. The sculptures that I've created are inspired by historical and contemporary optical tools and processes created by scientists to help us see inaccessible environments. So I've been really interested in um, microscope designs and um, old teaching slides that I've uh, visited at the Edinburgh University Natural History Collection um, and doing experiments in the lab with things like the water lens which Robert Hooke used in his early microscope design um, to focus light on his subjects. The experience of working with the scientists has really highlighted for me the similarities uh, in our working processes and our motivations, both working in this kind of trial and error imaginative space. I've had access to a huge amount of amazing scientific material, watching videos of deep sea cold water coral, looking down the microscope at this molecular world that I never knew about before, and I've worked with an amazing group of scientists who have been hugely open-minded and um, responsive to everything I've suggested. So it's really been a transformative experience and has opened up a, a new way of working for me.